Started with maybe the best offense in the NFL and the Kansas City Chiefs. We're going to end with maybe the second best offense, the Seattle Seahawks. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Taking on the Chargers. Uh, so we wanted to take a closer look at this one because we just want to see how they're <laughs> how are they doing it. Yeah. How is it all happening? Mm-hmm. And there was something that that stuck out to me that you wrote in your notes. Can I just read what you wrote please, here? Because I thought do. it was, and I, like I, I, I want to hear your answer to yeah. this. Yeah. You go, you watch the Seahawks. You cannot help but think was Russell Wilson holding them back. <sighs> you know, keeping it real by Chris Sims. Those are just thoughts that are going through my head as I'm watching this. Cause you're just going, this offense has got a little everything. They're doing things where I want to go. Shane Waldron didn't just like go like, Oh wait, I never had this play in my offense. Let me put it in this year. I go, I just go, yeah, maybe, and I'm questioning myself and, and, and all this. Maybe we, I'm just, the way it looks right now for Russell, maybe Seattle was playing a certain way and things to where, yeah, they didn't trust Russ or Russ didn't like some of these plays that Gino's like, yeah, I don't give a shit. I'll throw the ball down the middle there. That's no problem. No problem. I, I, so, yes, I'm just, I was giving natural my natural free-flowing thoughts, putting them down on paper here. And, and yeah, it's hard not to think it's like that. that. It's like the Kaiser Sose moment in <laughs> Usual Suspects, right. right? You were sitting there, and you're like, what if Russ has not been good his whole career, and your cup drops and crashes on the floor? And Look at you. <laughs> you know, it's a one movie reference. I was going to say, do. like, what are you? Who are you? <laughs> yeah. I mean... It is. It is. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. If you haven't seen the movie, I, I is, yes. Fast forward right now. Um, all right. So how is this offense different? Yeah. With Gino, then what exactly is happening? Well, it just the, the drop back pass game seems more vast and just there's more to it. All right. You know, the offense itself has a little bit more versatility. Their offensive line is better. Right. That gives them a fighting chance yeah. as compared to where it was. The damn two tackles that they got. They hit gold with their two tackles. Cross at left tackle. Ooh. The kid Lucas at right tackle, who they drafted out of Washington State, Abraham Lucas, he's a kind of a freak show. To get him in the middle of the draft, that's amazing. Hawk Strologer. Love yeah. the pod. Chris and Ahmed. How did Charles Cross look against Khalil Mack? Uh, it, it wasn't like, it wasn't bad. It wasn't to where I went away and went, oh man, he's getting overpowered. He's not. I mean, he he more than just hung in there. And again, for what the way they play, like, he doesn't. They're not playing dink and dunk, throw the ball offense right. here. You know, this isn't like, oh, let's get the ball out of his hands because we can't protect. You know, they're looking to strike. And I, I don't remember actually a time of the tape going, oh, man, oh, Cross is getting lucky. Oh, he's getting dominated. Good thing Gino got it out here and there. And I don't know what max final stats or pressure numbers were, be, but it wasn't good enough to where I went, let me write something about it, or this was a huge part of the football game. You always want to have more depth at running back. And they lost it with Rashad Penny when he was injured for the season. But now they have Kenneth Walker. He is the featured guy. Uh, you almost wonder, maybe, you know, it'd be nice to have another guy, a backup, too, as, as the year goes on. But I wonder now with Kenneth Walker as the feature back, I wonder if they're even more dangerous. What do you think? I, they are. He just because he's, he's a freak show. He's, I think I wrote in my notes, I, there's no running back that makes more out of less right now in football than, than Kenneth Walker. Maybe the, other than Saquon Barkley. Those two. There's too many plays where I go, well, that should be no yard gain. Oh, what? Ooh, what? He got out of there and got seven around the corner? What? Oh, what? no, they didn't block anybody. He turned the corner for 20? You know, that, that's where he's amazing. Nobody blocked in the middle, and he jumps and weaves and gets six yards, and you go, wow, well, um, unbelievable. Let alone, again, I'm not trying to downplay their offensive line. Their offensive line is good. They're, yeah. they're blocking pretty good. It's not like, oh, wow, he's making them look a lot better than they are. But, you know, just they have an interesting three tight end set. They're using him as a decoy a little bit. You know, they're going into the realm of what we talk about always with good offenses. Like we talked about with the Chiefs to start the show. One of my, you know, old go-to phrases. They make you defend every square inch of the field. And that's to me when defenses start to get, I mean, offenses start to get really good. Because yeah. there's no one area you can just go... Well, we don't have to worry about that. Like with the Chiefs, you used to go, well, we don't have to worry about them up the middle running here or short passes, you know, outside the tackle box or a short pass out on the edge or screen pass. Now they're starting to do it, and we're going, holy shit, what do you stop? How do you stop it? What do you do? Yeah. And that's, to me, where great offenses, you know, 
really become great is because of that. And, you know, with that, and then we should take a look at the passing grid while you yeah, mentioned that. Yeah, let's do that. Because Sorry, it really I didn't mean does. To keep it, rattling it does. No, here. because it does speak to what this. you were just yeah. talking about. It's like every area of the field, this is the next gen stats passing grid. This is his passing rating to different quadrants of the field. He's above average on deep left. He's. Within average, deep center, deep right. He's above average, kind of intermediate left and center. The only places he's below average, worse than average, probably doesn't matter that much, is slightly below average right around the line of scrimmage. So they're just not doing that as much. They're they're stressing teams out deeper. That, that's, that's, that's right. You know, And they're not like necessarily a great screen team or anything like that. But, yeah, I mean, again, everything about 10-plus yards down the field is – either significantly above league average or just a little bit above league, league yeah, average. Yeah. You know, Hey, you know, the out routes 10 yards and under, obviously they make you defend that. Yeah. There it's almost like opposite Russell Wilson. They don't make, or, you know, it, it is still kind of like Russell Wilson. I should say, yeah, they don't make you defend the 10 yards over the middle at all. That's not yeah. even part of it, but the way they do everything else. And I think then when you add in the run game, that makes up for that right there. And man, when they, throw out their Metcalf and Lockett and like I said, Fant and Walker and then oh wait, one of those guys is out. Well so what? It's, you know, um uh Godwin. I mean Marquise Goodwin. Sorry, got Goodwin, yeah. Marquise, Marquise Goodwin. Goodwin. Yeah. I mean, he can still fly. The kid from uh number one, Dwayne Eskridge can fly. So that that's where they're fun to watch. They have guys that can stretch the field or just get the ball in their hands and watch out. And um, yeah, they 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 tore up the Chargers on some of these plays. And now they got to try to do it against the very difficult Giants defense. If you're the Giants and you're Wink Martindale, who do you try to slow down, Kenneth or Geno? I know. You know, and the Giants are they're, they're they're struggling stopping the run a little bit. That's it's not been a great thing. The Giants. They play a lot of crowd the line of scrimmage pass defense. That's how I would say that. They try to scare you with like, hey, look, we're all at the line of scrimmage and we're going to blitz and do all this. And then they drop out and play cat pass coverage and, and play all these intricate things off of it. You know, they might have to actually keep people down at the line of scrimmage this week with, mm. with Kenneth Walker. It's, this is going to be a tough one to figure out. I mean, this is going to be a tough one as oh, far as the no, formula. You're going to pick against your Giants Maybe. again. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Have but you picked them yet this year? Mm, I picked them to beat the Bears. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Hey. It hasn't been many times that I've picked them. It has yeah. not. Maybe you picked them. Thanks for watching, homies. Hit subscribe to see all my unbuttoned videos. You get to see me, Ahmed Farid, all the big player breakdowns, game breakdowns, player interviews, and my film analysis. So please subscribe. Chris Sims on Button. Peace out.